Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know why John the Baptist is so prominent during the Advent season? Advent is a time of joyful anticipation and expectation for the coming of the Lord. We prepared to celebrate the coming of the Lord as a baby 2,000 years ago uh, in Bethlehem. We also prepared during Advent for the final coming of Jesus at the end of time. And during Advent, we also are expected to attune ourselves to the presence of the Lord among us right here and now today. So that's the season of Advent. Uh, so Advent is a preparation for Christ's coming as a human being to be with us, Christ's presence among us. So why is John the Baptist so prominent? Well, in the Gospels, the very mission and identity of John the Baptist is one who is called to prepare the way for the Lord, to prepare for the coming of the Lord as God with us. So as a result, John the Baptist plays a very significant role during the Advent season. In the three-year lectionary, uh, A, B, and C, um, the second and third Sunday of each le lectionary year is devoted to readings. The readings comment on and use the character of John the Baptist as a prominent example of how to prepare for the coming of the Lord among us. Now, John the Baptist in the gospel really prefigures uh, and anticipates uh, Jesus in so many ways. In Luke's gospel, for, his, uh, for example, um, uh, Luke parallels the, the announcement and the birth of John the Baptist with that of Jesus. Uh, even the miraculous event of their mothers. You know, we have now uh, Elizabeth, an older barren woman who is now pregnant with a child. And we have Mary, a virgin who now has conceived and will bear a child as well. Uh, and the other miraculous thing is when the two meet at the visitation, um, the children in their womb recognize one another. At least John the Baptist in the womb jumps for joy at the very presence of the Lord uh, with them. Uh, and so these miraculous events occur, you know, in kind of parallel in many ways, uh, Jesus uh, coming and Jesus' presence among us. Uh, John the Baptist also prefigures Jesus in his very ministry. Uh, the ministry of John the Baptist is one that calls for a prophetic call for repentance and to prepare for the reign of God in our midst. Uh, Jesus' own ministry begins with a call for repentance for the kingdom of God is at hand. Uh, and finally, uh, John the Baptist prefigures Jesus in his death um, because his prophetic call for justice and his challenging of the status quo really gets the authorities to um, push back against John the Baptist and they eventually kill him, uh, beheading him, as a matter of fact, in a brutal way, uh, it, it prefiguring Jesus' ultimate crucifixion for the same exact reason, challenging the status quo and taking on um, the powers uh, of the uh, of the time, and so uh, in lectionary year C, which is focused on the Gospel of Luke, we had the second and third Sunday focused on the John the Baptist as a character who prepares the way for the Lord during the Advent season. In the second Sunday, we have John the Baptist, who's a lowly desert prophet, uh, challenging the status quo with his message of repentance and justice, uh, situated within the context of um, uh, the major historical figures of their times, Augustus, Herod, and so on. Huh? And here we have a lowly prophet who really challenges the status quo and calls people to repentance. Uh, and in, in, that, in that passage, the, the um, quote from Isaiah is used in which the one who prepares the way of the Lord is to level mountains and to fill in valleys so you can make a straight and direct path for the coming of the Lord in our midst. Um, now, in Sunday... And the third Sunday of Advent in Lectionary C, um, John instructs various groups of people as to how they are to prepare the way for the Lord, uh, especially in terms of repentance and working for justice. And he, he recommends three things. The first is be thankful and be content for what you have and be willing to share what you have with others who don't have as much. 
Secondly, live lives of justice. Uh, always make sure that you value others, dignity, respect, and self-worth of others be a complete component in your interaction with others. And the third aspect is advocate and actually promote peace, a work for peace. Uh, the famous line from Paul VI, Pope Paul VI comes to mind here, if you want peace, work for justice. And so in many ways, John the Baptist is the ideal of what the Advent season is all about. And it's actually, his message is con consistently countercultural to what goes on culturally in our society during the time of Advent. Because instead of being content with what we have, we're making lists of things that we want and more things that we need, supposedly, instead of being content with what we have and sharing with others. Instead of living lives of justice, we kind of seem to be concerned primarily for ourselves and not really care all that much for others. Uh, it's just what, what I can get out of something. And finally, in terms of living lives of, um, uh, living lives of justice and promoting peace and advocating for peace, we tend to be people who are selfish and tend to really be concerned more for ourselves than for others. And so his message continues to be very countercultural during the season of Advent, and yet it is one of the most appropriate Christian messages you could come across where in terms of advocating what is the best way to prepare for the coming of the Lord? Try to be content with what you have and be thankful for what you have and share that with others. Try to live lives of justice and always advocate and work for peace. This is the reason why John the Baptist is so prominent during the Advent season and why we should reflect more on the readings on the second and third Sunday of Advent as we too will make our efforts to prepare for the coming of the Lord at Christmas. I hope this has helped to explain just a bit about why John the Baptist is so prominent during the Advent season, and I hope we return again to more Do You Know series questions as we continue to explore uh, our biblical characters and our faith traditions. Thank you very much.